as Florence Nightingale once said, how very little can be done under the spirit of fear. This sentiment rings true for emergency department nurses who face traumatic events daily. A pleasant day to each and everyone. I am Carlos Oliva. I am Ray Sarangan. I am Nicole Seriado. And I am Jenny Servitilio. And we are the group 4B of B and 3D. And today, we will be presenting our research entitled Secondary Traumatic Stress, Resilience, and Trauma Exposure Among Emergency Department Nurses. To start, let's discuss the general objective of the study. The aim is to investigate secondary traumatic stress, or STS, resilience, and trauma exposure among emergency department nurses. Our specific objectives include examining the demographic profile of ED nurses, assessing the levels of STS and resilience, and determining the extent of trauma exposure among them. We also aim to determine the relationships between these variables and demographic factors. Moving on to our research design, we employed a descriptive correlational quantitative approach using a survey method. This design allowed us to analyze patterns of secondary traumatic stress, resilience, and trauma history among emergency department nurses efficiently. Now, let's talk about our study sample. In this study, emergency department nurses from Negros Occidental Philippines were surveyed for one month, targeting a sample size of 87 from 111 ED nurses using Cochrane's formula for a 95% confidence level and a 5% margin of error. Approval limitations led to surveying all 111 ED nurses using census sampling across four approved hospitals with 97 returning completed questionnaires exceeding the necessary sample sizes and ensuring robust analysis. For the data collection, we utilized adopted or standardized questionnaires. The survey included demographic profiling and the life events checklist for DSM-5 or LET-5 to assess trauma exposure, capturing 17 potential traumatic events experienced personally, witnessed, or encountered professionally. The study utilized the 10-item Connor Davidson Resilience Scale, or CDRS-10, and the Secondary Traumatic Stress Scale, or STSS, to assess resilience and the impact of secondary trauma on healthcare providers, respectively. The CDRS-10 uses a 5-point Likert scale to measure resilience with proven psychometric strength, while STSS aligning with DSM-5 PTSD symptoms uses a similar scale to evaluate secondary trauma induced by patient interaction. Now, let's delve into the results and discussion, starting with the demographic profile of the AD nurses. First, regarding the age of the participants, 49 individuals or 50.5% fell within the age bracket of 22 to 34 years old, while 48 individuals or 49.5% were aged between 35 to 57 years old. Next, considering the sex of the participants, there are 33 male nurses, constituting 34% of the sample population. Meanwhile, female nurses represent 66% of the population, with 64 individuals. Regarding marital status, the majority of participants were single, accounting for 54 nurses, which constitutes 55.7% of the entire sample. In comparison, 43 are married, which is 44.3%. Number of years in the setting. Examining the number of years in the ED setting, the majority of the participants have fewer years of work experience, ranging from 0 to 3 years in the ED with a total of 49 nurses constituting 50.5% of the total sample size, while 48 participants have more years of work experience, ranging from 4 to 48 years, representing 49.5% of the sample. STS among ED nurses. The findings indicate that participants on average perceived a relatively low level of secondary traumatic stress with an average mean of 2.16. Resilience among emergency department nurses. The findings indicate a moderate resilience level among the participants with a mean of 3.02. Trauma exposure among ED nurses. The table reveals an average direct personal experience of trauma at 1.7, witness events averaging 4.53, and events as part of their job averaging 2.06. Now let's discuss the relationship between the various variables we study. The results reveal that there is no significant relationship between secondary traumatic stress and age, sex, marital status, or the number of years in the ED. 
Similarly, there is no significant relationship between resilience and demographic factors. However, we found that in the ER setting, age and trauma exposure are inversely related when it comes to witnessing traumatic events. There is a significant weak negative correlation between resilience and secondary traumatic stress, suggesting that as resilience increases, secondary traumatic stress decreases. Moreover, there is a significant weak positive correlation between STS and witness traumatic events and a significant weak positive correlation between resilience and trauma as part of job responsibility. In conclusion, ED nurses exhibited generally low levels of STS and moderate resilience. Higher resilience correlated with lower STS, while witnessing traumatic events correlated with higher STS. And lastly, job-related trauma exposure correlated with higher resilience. Overall, the findings advocate for enhanced psychological support and trauma-informed training. Based on the study's findings, we propose several recommendations for practice, culture, and society in the Philippines. Firstly, policymakers and government bodies. Insights may drive policy changes and resource allocation to support emergency healthcare workers. Next, for hospital administrators, findings may guide policies and resources to reduce STS, enhancing staff retention and patient care. For nursing educators and administrators, Results may improve nursing training to better prepare nurses for emotional crisis in clinical care. For emergency department nurses, results may lead to the development of support programs to mitigate secondary trauma. For the general public, awareness of nurses' struggles may foster public sympathy and a more compassionate society. And lastly, for future researchers, This study may provide a valuable reference for future research on secondary traumatic stress and resilience in healthcare. To access our full manuscript, you may scan the QR code presented. That concludes our presentation. We hope our research has provided valuable insights into the challenges faced by emergency department nurses, specifically concerning secondary traumatic stress, resilience, and trauma exposure. Thank you very much for your time and consideration, and have a great day.